Okay, I'm going to pick up the awesomeness right now, and I can't wait. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what this is. Have a good one. You too, thank you. Okay, here it goes, guys. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm Chris Ignato. This is Nature Now. And here's the big surprise. A uh, friend of mine, Johnny Chang, from God's Hobby, had sent me some surprises. And I can't wait to see what these are. Um, I've been looking very forward to this. I wrote to him a couple days ago asking some questions about some, uh, some invertebrates. And he found out about my channel and all, and decided to send me a little gift. Um, I just, I can't express how excited I am for this. Uh, I'll include a link to his website in the description below. And uh, he deals with invertebrates and stuff. He's an entomologist. And I think he lives in uh, Thailand or something right now. He was in Florida for a while. I'm not sure where he is now. And, uh, well, here it goes. Here's his, his business card. Well, I'll show you a close-up of that. Yeah, Johnny from God's Hobby. So, as you may or may not know, I always wear my knife on me. And when I'm done using it, it always goes immediately back in its, in its holster. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. That's not what this video is about. Oh, a little care sheet, which I'll uh, talk about in a minute. This is exciting for me. Take my knife back out. So these are beetles. And we will see what kinds of beetles. I'm leaving this out right now, which I'm very against. You know what, on that. You just don't do that. Get into the habit of always holstering it. That's how you lose them, that's how you get injured. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of that. Oh my god. That is a very big beetle larva or grub. I'll show you some footage close up in a few minutes. Oh, how cool is that? How cool is that? Thank you so much, John. I am very excited about this. So the mortality rate of beetles is pretty high, which is why they lay so many eggs and you have so many grubs and things. You know, not many survive to adulthood. I'm gonna do my best to make sure they do though. Gotta get a picture. Uh, Dynasties Tidius, an Eastern Hercules beetle. This box that I've got everything on top of is uh, my, some of my medical shipments came in this. I've got five boxes of med supplies for the IV I just had removed. The pick line that was going into my heart It's another video. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this is something I've wanted my whole life since I was a child. P. Muleri is Phala Crognathus. Phala Crognathus. Crognathus. Phala Crognathus Muleri. This is the rainbow steak beetle. I wonder if this is male or female. As you know, the males are bigger and they have those great big 
uh, horns or projections on their coming off their heads or faces. I should do this in another container. One second. Of course, most of my videos are filmed outdoors, focusing on native and sometimes invasive species. There are a few exceptions, such as these beetles here, the tarantula, a couple of scorpions, and a few other things. I do, however, plan to do a few more videos like this one in the future. Here we've got the larva. I don't know how long they stay in the larval stage. It's packed pretty well, so that's interesting. So, um, then what happens is they feed on their substrate, riding hardwood and coconut fibers and stuff like that. And then what happens is they go into the pupa stage. And that takes a couple weeks, I imagine. And then they emerge as adults. Okay, and here comes the final one. And this one is unlabeled, so this might be a surprise. So I'll upload videos in the future showing the progress of these guys. I really hope they don't turn into adults when I'm doing that off-site in Lehigh County. The one time I'm away from here for two days, that would, that would kill me. So I have no, no idea what this is. Oh my god. No way. Look at that. Now I gotta be careful because males can fly. This is clearly a male. So uh... Hold on. Wow, magnificent. How cool is this beetle? Eastern Hercules beetle. Now I think some people call it the Eastern Rhino beetle, but either way it goes, the Latin name is the sure way, Dynasties Titius, or Titius. And this thing is a tank. Look at the size of it. And as you can see, it's really friendly. This thing's not being aggressive or trying to get away really quickly. So unfortunately, it turns out that last clip didn't come out properly and I have to refilm it. In the meantime, however, I had transferred the beetle and larva to these new containers that I prepared with the same substrate and everything like that, so they should be good to go. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing these things wrong. I actually never went to school for any of this kind of stuff and in fact, I never really finished high school. That's between me and you guys. So the Eastern Hercules beetle, Dynasties Titius, got a larva of the same species, which Johnny actually discovered the beetle in a church parking lot down in Florida and has since managed to breed them. So that's pretty cool right there. And finally, we have the Phalacrygnathus mulleri, which is the rainbow steak beetle. And as I said earlier, I've wanted to see or own one of those since I was a kid and I never thought it would happen. I'm so excited about this. I mean, how cool is this going to be? I really hope it's a male, but even if it's a female, this is still going to be really exciting. Maybe I could get myself a member of the opposite sex and try to breed these. That would be incredible. So thank you so much, John. Um, you know, I'm really glad that we made friends. I'll include a link in the description below to his website and maybe his Facebook page if it's okay with Johnny Chang. And I have to say, he's a very friendly guy. He and I talked for some time on Facebook, and we share a lot of similar opinions, and he's just really great to talk to and a really nice person. So thank you so much, John. You've made my month with this. I am super excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. For those of you watching, I'm gonna upload videos in the future on the development of these species as they go along throughout you know, their growing cycle and reach adulthood. So please bear in mind that there will be a video on each species individually and also I'll have just, you know, videos on the development most likely on how these things are going. So thank you so much, John. You rule. 
And to you viewers, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys are excited like I am and tune in in the future to see how this is developing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.